is wide enough. I think you can go wider. Maybe you should get a little bit lower. And then make the most dominant position possible. You see the car in the background? Yeah. You see my shoes? Oh yeah. Okay. I made sure to get those, don't worry. Okay boys, y'all have waited long enough. The tarp car has been quite the conversation piece amongst us on social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, I think it's finally time I show it to you. Oh, okay. I I'm actually really excited because I've, I've, been, I've been like really eager to start this project, but because we've had no space, I just had to think, just sit here and think about it. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the car. Here we go. Y'all ready? I know you are, you don't have to tell me. Listen guys, it's not about the fact that it's an Evo 8 MR, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. And here we go. Damn it. Oof. <laughs> So supposedly he's about to pull up. I have never seen this car. I've seen some pictures of it and I have a few details. How he got this car is pretty interesting and um, I'll ask him about it and see if he can give us some details. Let me tell you guys, it is a legit barn find. Kind of excited about it. I'm really hopeful for it. I'm hoping nothing's like super wrong with it. But with the Shank Shack, I mean, sh by the time you guys are watching this, the Shank Shack is operational. With that shop, we can tackle anything. <laughs> like, okay, crossing my fingers. Oh shoot, there she is. Ah, <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah. Dude, it looks really good from a distance. <laughs> it's low. Okay. Yeah! What's up, man? Oh boy. I, I hope this thing has coilovers or the shocks are blown. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're good. Just go straight. Oh boy. What are you getting yourself into, Evan? Oh man. She needs some love. Oh boy. What's up, man? Long time no see. Well, what do we have here? Just something that needs a lot of love. You're gonna have to tell me how you came about getting this. I'm sure they're gonna want to know too, man. This is cool. It's a, it's a modern day barn find. It literally, uh, literally, yeah. My cousin called me and was like, hey, like, Uncle Paul's got this car that I know you're gonna want. And I was like, well, what is it? He was like, we don't know. <laughs> he was like, it's got a carbon fiber hood and all this stuff. And he was like, I know you're gonna want it. And I was like, well, send me a picture. He sent me a picture. And I was like, <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I was like, I'll come get wow. it. Wow. And you got it for a really good price. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I won't <laughs> share that, but dude. So it's got some, some quirks for sure. And a lot of stuff needs to be fixed. Oh, man. I guess let's, uh, I can help you get her unloaded and we can walk around and you can explain all, all that I'm going to need to do. <laughs> this is going to get interesting trying to get this thing off. What's up? That door doesn't want to open right now where it's sitting. Oh, so yeah. Like, we want to slap somebody in there real quick? Victoria! This is all you have to work with right now in this little rabbit hole. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, just uh, turn the wheel to the left a little bit. A little more. There you go. Okay. You're good. Pull. Sweet. Glad that e-brake worked because that would be a heavy impact. Man, daddy's got some work to do. Oh yeah, you have a bumper, I'm assuming, yeah? It's all right, these things look kind of cool without a bumper. Let's check out and let me show you guys, I guess, the, uh, the, the deal with this. So I guess let's go over exterior first. It's honestly not that rough. That is certainly sort of a problem, but that's nothing, uh, some body work can't fix. Jose's pretty good at stuff like this. You already know your boy got the connects for that, so. We'll get that figured out. We could maybe just do like a wider body or something like that and just. It's got an exhaust. Like, I mean, the bumper's in a little bit rough condition. It's got a real carbon fiber trunk. The wing is actually, I'm pretty sure that's real carbon fiber. It just needs to be re -epoxy. You actually, the, the carbon is actually exposed on it right now, so that's kind of crazy. But it's got a nice wing. Inside is carbon as well. I think a lot of this is gonna come down to like some detailing and just having Jose come and maybe repaint or re-clear the car even, because the paint actually looks okay. Wonder how these uh, 
These nice tires are gonna grip when she rips. It's got the Brembo's, uh, it's got little carbon bits. I wish I knew, you know, I mean, it's got a wrap on the roof too. It's nice carbon hood. Now let me go ahead and pop the hood. There's, this is gonna be a little bit of a project. Probably should pop the trunk too, cause there's some goodies in there, yeah? Okay, well, so here we go. That's a little rusted out. It's got four point harnesses that will definitely have to be probably redone cause they're a little rusty. But it's got a harness bar. That's actually kind of neat. Uh, this seat, dude, like the interior is actually in good condition. Like really, really good condition. Harness bar installed. That's a Sparco harness bar. That's pretty neat. Man, I love the freaking, I love the cockpit of these cars. These cars have such a unique, iconic, like steering wheel. Uh, the gauges are, wow, these are actually kind of, what? These are electronic gauges. Nice. You got AEM, AFR that's bubbling up on me a little bit. We've got some tunes we can probably never use because I don't listen to those anyways, but let's go ahead. Pop this guy. Pop that guy. Hood first. All right, babe, you ready? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Carbon, <laughs> carbon hoods be like. So, as you notice, we got a dangly 4G boy sitting here. We don't really know much about the motor or anything about the motor at all. We're kind of just... Uh, Hoping that uh, everything's good. We don't see any holes in the block, so that's always a solid option. <laughs> solid thing. No trans, no exhaust manifold. At least the intake manifold is on, because those are kind of a bitch. Let's, I guess, let's walk around in the back. Show me, uh, show me what you got in the trunk laying her down. Came like this, by the way, guys. Yeah. Came like this. Just came with it. Nice little tubular manifold with the. Uh, that's like a T. That's I guess T3, yeah. T3, T4, yes. something like T3, that. T4. Nice. With a little yin yang spinny thing, we'll probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then we've got a whole transmission. At least we have a trans. I think there was a clutch somewhere in there, too. Yeah. yeah? Clutch is on the engine still. Oh, it is on the yeah. engine? Okay. Well, you don't have to install that. One less thing to do. Okay, yeah. It's got a tilt and twin disc. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing all this, too. So I'm soaking it in, just like you guys. Um,. This is pretty cool. It's my first 4G I've worked on. We had the 4B on the other one, and I like the 4Gs a lot better. They're stronger, they're easier to work on, and they sound cooler. So, everybody wish me luck. It looks like they've got, uh, these might be some- TN, EFCs. Oh, the TNs. I, yeah, I always forget the, the uh, TN is- uh, yeah, it It's got the, yeah, the switch thing and the dash. Oh, sick. Wow, okay, so those are, those are fairly nice. We've got some like, I mean, these are actually a decent offset and fit for the car. There's like some gram lights. Some Rays replicas, or I don't see any name on them. And if it was Rays, they're very proud of that, so they put them on the the wheel very prominently. So it's just some 17s, I guess. Really, like as far as we know, that seems to be the only like projecty part about it. So really, this car is already further along than how my Lexus is sitting in the garage right now. So hopeful. This is gonna be cool. Oh, I'll have to uh, when I get it running. I'll have to let you come back down here and take her for a rip and see how she does but I would I would definitely love to keep that exhaust manifold and uh, definitely replace the turbo but it would be cool to just do a big turbo Evo how about that guys maybe save this one for a Miata or something someday <laughs> what you think <laughs> it really is crazy how he found this car and it was literally in a barn some dude long story short Ended up owning this car and just couldn't work on it. It was too old, didn't want it, so he sold it for dirt. And so, Dustin turned a little bit of a profit, but I still got it for a really cool deal. I wanted to get this because it's time for a next giveaway car. And right now you're probably thinking that's a horrible idea, Evan, why would you do this for, to us? But uh, as you're watching this, I wouldn't have uploaded this. I wouldn't have uploaded this if the shack wasn't actually like finished and stuff like that. So take a good, this is, we're going back in time. We're going back in time right now, guys. Shank Shack is halfway built. If you guys want some recollection, um, we're like a day before the roof actually goes up. Like tomorrow the roof will be here, so. You said this is, you're like going back in time. I'm not uploading this for like that's a month. Oh. Yeah, that's why I wanted a car cover. Gotcha. But this is my first Evo 8. And honestly, like the body is not in bad condition and we can definitely, definitely make this a cool car. I think one of the coolest things about cars, and for me, like I, th I think what really defines a car enthusiast is if you, can, if you can get a car like this, if you can look at a car like this and instead of seeing it for face value, instead see its potential, and you are ready to just delve into it, dive into it, and you can execute your vision for it, that is what makes you a car enthusiast. And so I am so excited, dude. Like, this car's, what? I'm not a car enthusiast. 
Yeah. <laughs> Told you guys on Twitter a while ago, I'm gonna stop saying I love this car every time I get a car because at this point I love every car. But I remember just being, I remember playing like Forza Motorsport 3 back in the day, choosing the Evo, using that as like the, the A and B class car. And I would carry that thing all the way through the career until I had to do an S class. And I would do like an R8. Super excited. And I hope you guys are too. Never have had a barn find like this before. And uh, this is going to be an intriguing, really fun experience. I'm eager. I mean, I can finally show it on camera now. I don't have to worry about like filming this way or whatever. So I am like super ecstatic to get this car started. These cars are so hard to find now. I can't even buy shells of these cars for like ten, fifteen thousand dollars And so I'm stoked. This is gonna be the first big challenge. And uh, honestly, I think it'll finally be able to use my Shank Shack's capacity and uh, all of my tools and my brain, my brain powers. I know it's rough, but you guys, see, you guys have seen what I can do with cars. Let me show you that this is gonna be the coolest turnout. I always give you guys daily advice, and this just came into my, my forehead, but don't always look at everything in life for face value. It takes a special type of person, special type of mindset to see the value in something even though it might not look perfect or it might not be perfect. I'm talking about like people too. I'm not just talking about cars. Like if you spend your life seeking out the best in everything and not just seeing everything for face value, then you live a much more loving, peaceful, caring life. I said recently, if you look, if you look for the light, you'll often find it. If you look for dark, that's all you're going to see. Try to not see, especially for people, try not to see people for face value. Understand that like there's more than meets the eye to a lot of things. I have to wait like a month. And I'm really, I really hate it. Now I need to go buy car dollies and somehow get this freaking thing onto the lift. We'll do that next video. Peace, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I hit that for so long, dude. Oh, I'm, so, I'm feeling so good right now. Make sure you guys watch those two videos in front of you and hit subscribe or you will die. I'm just kidding. You're not going to die. I'm just kidding.